Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the JDBC drivers. So let's go through the slides. Uh, what is JDBC drivers in Java? A uh, driver is nothing but software required to connect to a database from Java program. JDBC is just an API which, which Java has designed and to implementation of these APIs lies on different vendor because different database works in different way. They internally use different protocols. So like MySQL gives its own implementation of JDBC. We call it MySQL JDBC driver and we use it when we want to connect to the MySQL database from the Java program. Similarly, Oracle, SQL Server, Sybase, Postgres, Postgres uh, have provided their own implementation of JDBC APIs to connect them. Since Java program uses JDBC API, they are portable across different database. Uh, all you need to do is change the JDBC driver, which is just a jar file if you are using uh, type 4 JDBC driver. So what is type 4 JDBC driver and how many types of JDBC drivers are there? So we are going to discuss in the next slide. Now there are four different types of JDBC driver. First is called type 1 driver or that is also called JDBC ODBC bridge driver. Now second we have a type 2 driver that is also called JDBC native, native API driver. Type 3 driver that is also called JDBC Net Pure Java driver and we have a finally type 4 driver uh, and that is also called all Java drivers. Now why many types of JDBC drivers are there? The different types of JDBC drivers comes from the fact how they work which is basically driven by the two factors portability and performance. Type 1 JDBC driver is the poorest in terms of portability and performance while Type 4 JDBC drivers are highly portable and gives the best performance. Since the database is very important and almost all Java application uses the database in some form or other. It's important to that's why it's important to learn JDBC API for all Java developers. And if you, when you talk about the some, uh, J, I mean, doll layer framework like uh, you have a Hibernate, uh, IoTs, uh, JPA. So this basically this uh, framework basically built on the, built on the top of the JDBC API itself. So that's why it's important for a Java developer to understand, I mean, uh, JDBC API, how JDBC API works basically. Now types of JDBC drivers, so as we did discuss there are total four types of JDBC drivers exist in Java. They are known as type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4 drivers. In order to understand difference between uh, uh, different JDBC drivers, first and most important thing to understand is why Java has so many types of JDBC drivers. Why not just one? The answer lies in portability and performance as discussed earlier. The first JDBC driver is known as type 1 JDBC driver and the most recent one is known as the type 4 JDBC driver. There has been some talk about type 5 JDBC driver but uh, I, haven't, I have not heard anything concrete about it from the Oracle or any other reliable sh uh, source. So type 4 driver is uh, still the latest one. And here in this picture you can see type 1 driver that is also called JDBC ODBC driver which which uh, basically contact to the ODBC bridge and then that talks to the database. Now second type of driver in this picture you can see that is that uses the native library to interact with the uh, database. Now third uh, type of driver which uses proxy server to interact with the database and fourth type of driver is called pure Java driver and Java client can directly interact to the database using some protocol. Now what is type 1 uh, driver in JDBC? 
This is the oldest JDBC driver mostly used to connect database like MS Access uh, from Microsoft Windows operating system. Type 1 JDBC driver actually translate JDBC calls into ODBC uh, calls in which in turn connect to database since it acts as a breeze between JDBC and ODBC it is known as uh, known as JDBC ODBC breeze driver. This driver had very poor performance because of several layers translation which took place before your program connects to the database. It has also less portable uh, because it relies on the ODBC drivers to connect to the database which is platform dependent. Uh, it is now obsolete and only used for the development and testing purpose. And one more important thing Java 8 even removed this driver from the JDK. So from Java onwards you don't have in JDK 1.8 you do not have JDBC breeze uh, JDBC ODBC breeze driver uh, along with JDK right that is completely removed from the Java 8. Uh, what is the type 2 driver in JDBC? There was the second driver JDBC driver introduced by the Java after type 1 hence it is known as type 2 driver. In this driver performance was improved by reducing communication layer instead of talking to the ODBC driver JDBC driver directly talks to the uh, DB client using native APIs that's why it is known as native API or partly Java driver since it requires native API to connect to the DB client or database client it is also less portable and platform dependent performance of type 2 driver is slightly better than uh, type 1 driver now what is type 3 driver in JDBC? Uh, this was the third JDBC driver introduced by the Java, hence known as type 3 driver. It was very different than type 1 and type 2 drivers in sense that it was completely written in Java as opposed to previous two drivers which was not written in Java. That's why this is known as all Java drivers. This driver uses three tire approach. Uh, client server and database so you have a java client talking to a, a java server and java server talking to database java client and server talks to each other using net protocol hence this type of jdbc driver is also known as net protocol jdbc driver this driver never gained popularity because database vendor was reluctant to rewrite their existing native libraries which was basically written in C and C++ language. What is the type 4 JDBC driver? This is the driver which was most likely used to connect to modern database like Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, SQLite, uh, Postgres etc. This driver is implemented in Java and directly talks to the database using a native protocol. This driver includes all database call in one jar file which makes it very easy to use. All you need to do to connect a, a database from Java application, uh, Java program uh, is to include jar file to uh, relevant JDBC uh, to in, uh, you need to include jars to jar file of uh, relevant JDBC driver because of lightweight this is also known as thin JDBC driver. Since this driver is also written in pure Java, it's portable across all platforms, which means you can use same jar to connect to MySQL even, even if your Java program is running on Windows, Linux, Solaris or any other operating system. Performance of this type of JDBC driver is also based among all, uh, all of them because database vendor liked this type and all enhancements they make they also put for type 4 drivers. So this drivers gives you the best performance among all drivers. Now let's have some uh, questions and answers on JDBC uh, drivers. right? So first question in this list I have a what's the difference between type 1 and type 2 driver? Though both type 1 and type 2 drivers are not written in Java, there was some significant difference between them. Type 2 drivers have better performance than type 1 driver because uh, of the fewer layers of the communication and translation. As opposed to type 1 JDBC driver, 
in which JDBC calls are translated to ODBC calls before they go to the database. Type 2 JDBC drivers directly connect to the database client using the native library. Now ne next question in this list, what is the difference between type 2 and type 3 drivers? The main difference between type 2 and type 3 drivers is that as opposed uh, to type 2 drivers, type 3 is completely written in Java. Another difference which comes from the this fact that type 3 driver is uh, more portable and, than type 1 and type 2 drivers uh, because it does not require any native library on the client side to connect data, uh, database. In terms of architecture, type 3 drivers is 3 tier architecture and uses net protocol to uh, client server communication. Now third question in this list we have uh, what is the difference between type 3 and type 4 driver. The main difference between type 3 and type 4 drivers is removal of uh, 3 tier architecture. Uh, type 4 drivers directly connect to the database using their native uh, protocol as opposed to net protocol used by the type 3 drivers. Though both uh, type 3 and type 4 drivers are written in Java, another key difference is, is easy to use. Type 4 drivers just require one jar file into class path in order to connect to the database. Performance of type 4 drivers is also better than type 3 drivers because of direct connectivity to the database as opposed to the 3 tier architecture of type 3 drivers. And last but not, less, not the least important question which drivers should be used. So that depends on your use cases. If you are using, if you are accessing one type of database such as Oracle, Sybase or IBM DB2 then the preferred driver is type 4. If your application is accessing multiple types of databases at the same time type 3 driver is preferred one. Uh, type 2 drivers are useful in situation where type 3 and type 4 drivers is not available uh, for your database. Now the type 1 driver is not considered as a deployment level driver and is typically used for the development and testing purposes only. So that's all in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial we have seen uh, how many types of JDBC drivers are there and we explored all four types of JDBC driver. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.